you've described yourself as an ex-addict dirtbag who met this woman mm -hmm. who's basically, you know, Disney deemed her a princess. Right. She, she is the embodiment of all that is good and wonderful about women. Yes. And I wonder, like, how it worked that you put those two lives together. Well, this answer is going to surprise you, and it's going to be off-putting, but I'm going to tell you the real answer. Okay. Which is, I have this very weird mix of not thinking I'm good-looking, uh, general low self-esteem, chip on my shoulder that I'm dumb because I was dyslexic, all these things. Yet, unbridled arrogance in relationships. I've always been that way. Really? I don't know how to explain it. I've just... I've always felt very confident in relationships. So I never, ever was like, oh, I hope I can keep Kristen. I was going, do I want to be with a Christian who has eight people living in her house for free, who has to get out of a car when there's a dog that doesn't have a leash and ruin her whole day to rescue this dog? Do I want to be? That's great, she's good, but I, that's not what I want to do. I'm not that good. I don't want to spend my day finding the owner of a dog. <laughs> so I wasn't uh, fearful I would lose her. I wasn't certain I wanted to be with someone like that. And then the, what's, what happened, with, which could have only happened the way it did, is that she never ever said to me, you know, you could be a little better of a person. She never, ever suggested that I should do that. Instead, I just slowly through time watched what fruit she bore out of the way she moved through life. I, lo I looked at the, 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 the results of how she lived, and they're pretty undeniable. So here's me who's like, thinks she lets people take advantage of her and live for free off of her and maybe she pays this manager too much or whatever the thing I, the, the cynical protective part of my brain was saying, I, I could also acknowledge she's bringing in a lot more money than you. She's getting ahead. Like well, for all these people that are making a fool of her, she's doing a lot better than you are. I just couldn't deny the reality of how, how her, her life unfolds. There, there's something charmed about it. And I think it's charmed because it starts with her being just endlessly generous and loving and, and, uh, and giving people the benefit of the doubt and believing in people and believing the world's a wonderful place and all these things. And then downriver, it proves to be all those things to her. And me, on the other hand, I'm like, and no one's gonna take my wallet. You know, that's all I'm thinking about, and I miss all this other stuff. And then I, I, you know, I just over time was like, it doesn't really matter what case you can make intellectually, you can't deny what the outcome is, and it's so drastically better for her. You know, more people care about her, more people will be there for her, more people, it's just a better life. And, and I wanted that. And so I chose to move more in her direction, you know? She didn't ask me to. I, I wanted what she had and I replicated it. And, and conversely, I'll pat myself on the back. A lot of the things I think she could have done better, I never said. She's the first person I dated. I made a real conscious decision that I wasn't going to try to make her into the person I wanted to date. Because I know what happens when I try to make them the person I want to date. I don't end up liking that person. And so I didn't do that, and lo and behold, she has come the same exact distance towards me as I've come towards her. You know, without me, she's never on your show admitting she has depression. She's never doing that. That's like something she got from me, and then that has added this level to her life that these people reach out to her and say, I was, I've been with a guy three years, I haven't admitted I have depression. I'm so ashamed of that, and she's seen the results of like, what her being honest and flawed and all these things, what, what it cultivates. And so um, it happened to her and it happened to me and neither of us were saying you gotta start doing it this way or you need to be this way. It's like some magic osmo osmosis happened. Well, you're right. Yeah. That is a little off-putting. It is, right? <laughs> <laughs> hey folks, thanks for watching. If you like what you just saw, then why not subscribe? Click right here for lots more off camera. And if you want to see the hour long version of these conversations, I'm going to give you the secret link. Here it is.
offcamera.com. Check it out.